hello dear friends welcome to my channel today's discussion is fluid dynamics gases and equilibrium of an isothermal atmosphere what is gas fluids which can be compressed easily and made to expand indefinitely by increasing the volume are called gases Compe uh, compression is the ratio of the reduction in volume to the original volume is equal to minus dv by v elasticity is the limiting ratio of the increase of pressure to the compression it produces dp minus minus dp divided by dv by v equals to minus v dp by dv an apparatus by which the pressure of the air is measured is called a barometer internal energy of a gas the internal energy of an ideal gas is the kinetic energy of thermal motion of its molecule its magnitude depending on the temperature of the gas and the number atoms in its molecule it is quite independent of a motion of the gas in bulk thermodynamics first law the total energy in a closed in a closed system is constant which means that any transfer of energy from one from to another does not affect the total energy del q is equal to del u plus del w reversible change when a change in pressure and volume of a substance takes place but the temperature remains constant the change is said to be isothermal when a change in pressure in pressure and volume of substance takes place but no heat is allowed to enter or leave it the change is said to be adiabatic equilibrium of a isothermal atmosphere condition gravity being constant if p and rho denote the pressure and density at high z above the sea level then the pressure equation is dp is equal to minus g rho dz here origin is o is taken and axis oz vertically kali vapor of sea level z being measured up upward also by boyle's law you know also boyle's law p is equal to k rho okay pressure is directly proportional to the density so dp by p is equal to minus gk g by k into tz integrating both side we get log p is equal to minus gk z plus log c and suppose p is equal to p p0 and rho is equal to rho 0 when z equals to 0 at the c level so that k equals to p0 divided by rho 0 so c is equal to log rho 0 log p by p0 is equal to minus gk by k by z and therefore p by p equals to p0 e to the power minus gk by z perfect gas so friends since the atmosphere may be treated as a near perfect gas here i consider perfect gas perfect gas means pv is equal to nrt okay pv is equal to nrt this is the perfect gas so no van der waals equations for which the equation pv is equal to rho rt okay so p0 is equal to rho 0 rt and k is equal to rt0 where t0 is constant pressure throughout the region 
therefore p is equal to p0 and e to the power gz divided by rt0 also rho is equal to rho 0 e to the power minus gk into z and let h be the height of the homogeneous atmosphere and rho is dynasty rho is the density rho its density and p is its pressure at any point under con consideration then p is equal to k rho into g rho h so h is equal to k divided by g equals to a constant hence the height of the homogeneous atmosphere is the same at all places at the same temperature so p is equal to p0 e to the power minus gk z and rho 0 e to the power z divided by h no, sorry it is not r okay and z equals to difference difference altitude between two stations h1 is equal to barometric height pressure is equal to p1 and rho 1 densities and h2 is barometric height pressure p2 and rho 2 is densities so h1 by h2 is equal to rho 1 by rho 2 and p1 by p2 and we get e to the power minus gk by z and z equals to k by g log h2 by h1 gravity being variable or let r radius of r is equal to r and g equals to gravity of the at the sea level and h height z above sea level so the value of gravity is r square r plus z whole square into g so this is the formula okay you can get it is for gravitation formula okay when when gravity is variable okay so therefore dp is equal to r square is equal to r plus z whole square zero dz and also apply by the Boyle's law p is equal to k rho and dp by p is equal to r square r plus z whole square gk divided by dz so integrating both side i get this value and at the sea level i get this value and log p by p0 is equal to this so p equals to p0 into grz into k into r plus z so friends in here you can get same values for the rho is equal to rho 0 into minus g by k rz divided by r plus z okay it is multiplied do not see the kr it is g by k into rz divided by r plus z okay thanks for watching I hope it is clear for everyone.